What is going on everybody ladies and gentlemen simply pops here and the time has finally come you can now jailbreak iOS 13 on your iPhone 10 or earlier so the iPhone 5s through the iPhone 10 basically the a7 chip through the a11 chip you can jailbreak your device and the beauty thing about this jailbreak this is unlimited so no matter what Apple do you can be able to jailbreak no matter what the firmware is with the lifespan of this device basically so this is the biggest jailbreak exploit yet and i'm happy to show you guys how to jailbreak now fun little fact i recorded this video but my microphone or my camera was disconnected it wasn't plugged in all the way so i had to do this video again now things to keep in mind of this is only available on mac it is not available on windows just yet so if you have windows you just can't jailbreak your ios 13 device just yet and also keep in mind this is a beta so you know be prepared they recommend you installing this on your secondary device not your primary device make sure you have your device backed up um, just in case anything happens but nine times out of ten nothing really happens i already joe broke my device already on the first take now i'm doing the second take now i'm gonna throw this link in the description you just click on this button here to download all right once it's downloaded you just click on it it's gonna open it up you're going to have this window. All you got to do, honestly, you just got to click and drag the check rain application to your applications folder, which I already done already. And you want to right click and you want to click on open and it's going to open right up. And once it opens up, you will need to connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer. Now, before I even go further, you may have some more attempts than usual on your iPhone 5S, iPad mini 2, iPad mini 3, or even the iPad Air. Now, keep in mind, you cannot jailbreak your iPad Air 2, your iPad 5, or your iPad Pro first gen. So just keep that in mind. All right, I'm connecting my iPhone. My iPhone is connected to my laptop, my MacBook, I should say, and it's automatically gonna come up right here. So it is in uh, normal mode. You will have to put your device into DFC mode. It varies on your device. The utility is actually gonna tell you how to put your device into DFC mode. It's gonna guide you really nice, but I don't really like using the software just because you know it doesn't really work out for me i have to fight with the software it's not really fighting it's just i'd rather do it by myself before having the software tell me to do so itunes is going to pop right up that's regular and then the software is going to tell you how to put your device into dfc mode so right now my device is in recovery mode so now all we got to do we're going to get ready we're going to click start and it's going to guide you give you a three second timer you press and hold the side button for six seconds And then you release the side button and then you press and hold the side button and the volume down button together. Then you release the side button while keeping the um, volume down button while holding the volume down button. Yeah, so it just didn't work for me. Now for a better success rate, I always like enabling low power mode. And then I'm going to quickly put my device into DFC mode. So I'm going to press volume up then down then press and hold the side button until the screen goes black as soon as it goes black I'm gonna press and hold the volume down button so I'm holding the volume down button 1 Mississippi 2 Mississippi 3 Mississippi 4 Mississippi 5 Mississippi releasing the side button while holding the volume down button that's gonna put your device into DFC mode if you have the iPhone 10 so as you guys can see it is DFC mode we're gonna click on okay on itunes and yeah so now we can move forward with the jailbreak process now i already did the jailbreak so i'm not sure if i should do it again if it's going to mess anything up so once you click start it's going to do the process right here um if it mess anything up then I'll, I'll do it off camera fix it off camera but i already jailbreak i already have cydia and it's just going to do its thing so yeah, I actually lost the utility. I don't have the utility on my springboard, but that's okay. So I got an error message, but that's okay. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna send any information. I'm gonna do it again, and I was already good, keep in mind. Okay, oh, there goes the Apple logo. Oh, yeah, okay. So yeah, once you see this on your device, you should be good money. This is like the classic jailbreak back in the day stuff. And this is a hit or a miss because, you know, it's going to take a couple of tries. But keep on trying, you should be good. All right, and look, my jailbreak is re-abled, so I have all my tweaks 
right here so i have the the hide icon labels everything is there so once you do that this is done you can click on done you can close this out you can put your computer to sleep and then now back on your device you're going to have this new application you tap on it and make sure you take off airplane mode uh, disable that and wait for it to connect launch back up the application you're going to see Cydia you're going to tap on Cydia and you're going to tap on install Cydia but in my case I already have Cydia and once you tap on install Cydia it's going to install all the files of Cydia and then you're going to have Cydia on your home screen and that's how you jailbreak now keep in mind anytime you reboot your device or your phone dies you will have to do the same process all over again um, so yeah just keep that in mind so yeah if you had an inconvenient spot your phone will still work but your jailbreak will be disabled and you're not going to have the checkmate application on your device so there's no profiles there's nothing like that so you will have to you know go to your computer and do the same process again anytime you reboot your phone and also jailbreaking is 100% legal it's not illegal stuff I am ready to show you guys my jailbreak setup or my best tweaks of the week for iOS 13 um, of course here's my wallpaper if I go into the photos application this is another wallpaper you guys could probably check out yeah so here's my iPad I actually like this a lot on my iPad better than ever because the widgets is on the left and it just looks really really nice on the iPad. got this one I'm rocking out with this one currently and I got this one and this one and that's about it and yeah without further ado let's just get right into the tweaks so best tweaks of the week number one for iOS 13 first up we have a tweak called sunflower now sunflower is going to enable 3d touch instead of the haptic touch on iOS 13 so normally you guys notice that 3d touch is gone on iOS 13 but with sunflower this tweak is going to bring it right back so the response is going to be faster and it's actually a pressure sensitive now this time instead of just pressing and holding on the icons so now if I just lightly press on the settings icon it's not going to do anything because it's not a 3d press but here's my iOS 13 non jailbroken device and you guys can see I'm can just press and hold with no pressure whatsoever and it's going to activate just like that but with this tweak it's not going to do anything. You have to press on the screen a little bit harder, just like regular 3D touch. Next up, we have a tweak called Gesture 13. And basically, you have all the iPhone 10 gestures on all devices that's run iOS 13. Um, so your iPhone 8, you can have the swipe up or the swipe and hold to activate the control center. You're going to have your clock on the left. And then you're going to have your battery indicators on the right. And so it's going to be like the iPhone 10 on your non iPhone 10 device. So gesture 13 is going to bring all the iPhone 10 gestures onto your older iPhones. Next up, we have a tweak called Melita and all it is, you can now 3d press on your folders and you're going to have all the apps right there. So this is how it should have been. Instead of opening up the, the folder itself, you have these um, platters here. My 3d touch actually looks so different. And I think that's a tweak that we're going to talk about next. But yeah, so instead of going into the folder and then tapping on the app, you save yourself some steps by just doing this and then you can just, you know, drag your finger down and then there you go. Next up, we have a tweet called Noctis Neo and Noctis is back better than ever, but I cannot even ex like experience it because I'm getting this message. Now, I got this message before, you know, I purchased this tweak with my own money and this is and this is the respect I get. I'm pretty sure there's a fix for it. I'm looking into it. You know, I got this before and I just install other tweaks and it just happened to work. I don't know, maybe they got an update. But I installed the rocket strap and all this stuff and I'm still getting the same thing. So maybe wait a little bit until the developer iron out all the bugs or glitches and you're gonna get that. But I was really excited for that tweak. You guys can see the colors, like on the battery, you you have that. I was really waiting for this tweak to work, but sadly, it's not working for me. This is a classic tweak, but I would like to share with you guys. This one here is clean home screen. And all it is, you guys see my home screen is nice and clean. I don't have no icon labels underneath. And that is a tweak called clean home screen. And you can also customize your lock screen too as well. So you can hide the, the clock and, you know, whatever the case may be. It just looks so minimalistic. And yeah, I highly recommend it. It's really cool. It's definitely one of my go-to tweaks. Of course, there's some settings to configure if you want. So the notification badges, you can remove the clutter on all 
the app names, the doc background. The list just goes on and on and on here, as you guys can see. Now, it is still a little wonky. Like, the unlocked text is still there on my lock screen. Um, certain application is still being shown on the icons here. See, look, and there goes the icon labels there again. Even though I hide it, it's still there. So it's still kind of glitchy, but iOS 13 jailbreak just came out yesterday. So patience, everyone. Now, here's another cool, simple tweak, and I think you guys should install, and it's a classic one. This one is called Pull the Respring, and it's going to respring your device in the settings application. This is definitely a staple. You know, maybe you apply some changes on the tweak or whatever the case may be. You want to just quickly respring your device. All right, next up, we have a tweak called Falza. Now, Falza is a staple one. It's a file system for your iOS device. And, you know, if you have a bad tweak or, or anything, you can uninstall that tweak right here. You can just dig up your files and see what's going on. And But Falza will come in handy anytime. You know, you might not need it now, but in the future, you may need it. Now, this one here is called Copy Log. And Copy Log is basically a paste clipboard. So it's a clipboard. You can, you know, copy more than one thing. So I could type in my name, Simply Pops. And then I can copy Simply Pops. I can copy sub and I could copy like. And then if I activate copy log, I can see all my snippets right here. So this is really cool. And then if I tap on something like this, it's gonna automatically paste right there. And I can paste like, I could paste, and the list goes on and on. I mean, it's just unlimited damn near. Now here are the settings to configure. So you have an enable switch. You can even copy images. Auto pay, so you could turn that off if you like. You have a sound, you have a notification, you can even maximize the snippets, but it's 60. You can even clear your history, or you can blacklist certain applications. This is a really cool tweak, and I highly recommend it. Now, this one here is called Tweak Compatible, and it's going to tell you if a tweak is compatible or not. So, for example, pull to respring, it is 100% working. As you guys can see on the bottom, it will say working. And, of course, is your device, the firmware, everything like that. So, it is 100% working. And if it's like a 50-50 chance, like for some odd reason, they're saying Sunflower is likely working. It is working. And, yeah, so you're going to have 50-50 like that. And if something is not working completely, like... Let me type in a really old tweak. As you guys can see, the question mark is there. Let me type in Zeppelin. Zeppelin never been updated. You know, this is... Yeah, so Zeppelin is not working. So 0%. Now, if you don't see your tweak uh, register, if it says unknown or something like that, I'm going to throw a link in the description to a compatibility list and just check for your tweak, see if it's compatible or not. And we got these two generic tweaks that I just have to share with you guys. If you're new to the jailbreak scene, I just have to add these two in the list. We have Swipe For More. So if you guys don't know what Swipe For More is, anytime you're searching up for a tweak, you can literally just swipe and then you can delete the tweak or you can reinstall the tweak and you can even queue the tweak too if you like. So for example, if I want to uninstall Gestures 13 or it's not even installed, uh, you can do so. Your car's extended warranty. Scam. I got a phone call. Now, I just got an update for Rocket Bootstrap. Let me see if I do this update. But let me finish show you guys what Swipe for More is. So, in this scenario, you can queue up the update. It's going to be orange here. That's going to queue it up. And you have the X queue. So, that's going to remove queue. If you just tap on the arrow, it's just automatically going to you know update that one tweak. And that's it. So, I tend to like to always... Um, you know, queue things up and see what I don't need. And let me just quickly show you guys the next tweak too, just to get this done. If I add in a new source, you could add in a batch of sources. So not one source at a time. It's going to supercharge your city application. Um, I'm going to show you guys the setting in a little bit once I perform these updates. So flame here, you guys have it. So you have an enable switch, you have options, you can even change the default page. So you can have it into the sources, search, install changes. So you can really customize Cydia to your full potential. So you have a timeout. Yeah. So I highly recommend flame. If you, if you're new to the jailbreak, this is a must have 
uh, City of Tweak as well as Swipe for More. And I would say mostly all these tweaks on the list are pretty essential to have. And maybe not all of them, but some of them definitely. Um, but yeah, that pretty much concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is not the most exciting jailbreak tweaks video. Like literally, this jailbreak just came out and we gotta wait for the developers to come up with some amazing ideas or update their tweaks. Yeah, so make sure you guys subscribe if you guys wanna see more. Make sure you guys thumbs up the video. It does help me out a bunch. And comment down below what you guys think about this jailbreak. iOS 13, unlimited jailbreaks, not worried about Apple patching this exploit. Yeah, that is really amazing. This is the biggest jailbreak ever. All right, guys, until next time, peace.